sort of character in here. I, uh, I picked up a fan and decided that he should drive the bus because the theme of my career and my movement is fans are the ones who drive my project. Fan label, so there we go. This is Shiloka's bed. Shiloka owns this bus. He actually, funny enough, where are the pictures? He used to be a Calvin Klein model. It's hilarious. Well, that's one picture of him, so you can kind of see his face. Picture of me there too, to the left. He spent his full weekly wage on this fucking speaker, which actually I'm very grateful for. This is Scotty's bed, my adopted daddy, who takes care of the merch. I stole this, but you know, as my face is on it, I don't count it to be stolen as such. We just like to collect cool little things. Like we go into like gas stations and pick up weird little shit and then just kind of stick it in the bus somewhere. These are my fave. We got like these 3D um, postcards. This is Carmen and Camille, my support band that are on tour with us right now. What lovely little girls. Random shit that we find around. Uh, in the middle of America. So I found out that this tour was locked in. I had just come out of a meeting with ICM and they're like, all right, tour's good, here's the dates. Fucking make it happen. I'm like, oh my God. I had no manager. Uh, I had basically no one. It was just kind of like me making shit happen myself with my agents. Not really the money to kind of pull it off, to be honest. And so I was taking my Uber, driving back home, and I drove past this bus and I was like, oh my God. I said, you have to turn around. So I had the Uber pull up next to the bus and I was like, excuse me, hello, hello. And it's Shiloka. And uh, we got the whole thing on camera, which is crazy. And it's in one of my We Are Neon episodes. You can see the whole process. I basically have this magic power where if I look into your eyes and say what I want, I can make shit happen. So we did that to him and uh, you know, now it's my tour bus. Hey, we get it for free. Okay, moving on. This is Mojo's bed. He's always sleeping. Mojo is my trombone player. He's, uh, he's done some doodles here. We shall not tell you the meaning behind the doodle. <laughs> Nemo is hiding here. Nemo is my stylist and I love him and he's fucking fabulous. I had these bunks built because I thought we would use them. We are still yet to use them. So we just kind of chuck shit up there and uh, it's now storage. So uh, my hula hoop is up here. I like to do hula hooping as a workout. I also have a hammock up there, but I put it here one time and we were driving and I fell and I crashed. It didn't go very well, so we put it back in the storage. <laughs> this is Bear's bed. And Bear is, uh, I feel like he's the queen of the tour, you know? He's a little bit of a diva. We love him, but he's definitely, you know, he's the boss of the tour. He uh, will knock anybody out. He's our warrior. We love him dearly. He's my drummer. This is Ben's bed. He is the tour manager. He's a lot of fun. I mean, we're a lot of fun, but he's wild. This is the princess bed, AKA more. And uh, this is Nigel Bear. New addition to the family, Ziggy Marley, AKA my bag. He got in a fight last night, so he's bleeding. Stuff out here, you know. Nigel Bear's got no eyes. It's just fucking how it goes. Uh, this amazing wig back there that I wore for the show the other day. My sign. All kinds of shit up here. I mean, I don't even know what's up here. Oh, that hat is pretty cool. It's like a funeral hat. There's a kettle, because I like to drink tea. Lots of teas up there. Oh, you have to see this. This is one of the things we got from the gas station. It's a unicorn. It's fucking magical. Uh, we have a sewing machine back there. And then underneath is the drums and everything else. I sleep like this because the, ba the bus is very bouncy. Um, you know, half the time I'm levitating. It's actually very futuristic. Fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but this is my bed that I bought from my house. It's my mattress and all my stuff. So I feel at home. You know, and I was like, this is crazy. I'm like, this is normal. Like, I guess uh, you can compare me to somebody who grew up in like a shanty town, but I have wheels. And I'm staying true to my roots because I believe in that. <laughs> So, welcome on board, motherfucker.